Alright, so I'm going to be that weird guy who like flips it around because um, as an artist, like I'm in my studio alone, making stuff alone, um, and I have a certain relationship with it, but what I really, really love is like the payoff of being at your opening and just watching people. Like I just like to watch people look at my stuff. And uh, so if, if any of you just want to first, before we start kind of questions, want to tell me what you think, I'd love to hear either way, if anything resonates with you, if something gives you a certain memory or whatnot, I would love to hear that from anyone. Abby Kreiser. <laughs> that one right there, and I forget the title off the top of my head, um, the one right in the center. Sometimes I think you can tell which curators are drawn to based on the placement they're put in the room, but yeah. that, um, I'm an avid hiker and backpacker, and I know this has nothing to do with that, but it immediately made me think about when I am in the woods with my husband and staying in different places and like the trees over there and there's like the campfire and just how we get lost in the woods. And that's what it reminded me of. As soon as you sent me the image through the computer, I was like, this is it. And then somebody else bought it. On your substrates here, it says uh, a paper in the book. How do you put the paper on the substrates? So it's, uh, this is um, Fabriano watercolor paper. It's all watercolor paper. Um, and I mounted it onto the panel. Um, the first thing I did was um, I uh, gessoed the panel. Okay. Just to create a barrier between that and the paper. Um, and then I actually used matte acrylic medium. Um, and I just, and then with a big brush went really fast because it dries really quickly. And then uh, put the paper on that was uh, uh, slightly larger than the panel. And then with a brayer, like, and I'm doing this like in front of my window. My neighbors are like, what is she doing? Because I'm like, good, 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 stick. Um, and what's awesome is that I pressed six panels, and I painted six panels, and I loved all of them. So I didn't have any like, you know, oh, I have to get, get another panel or um, do any of that. It, you know, it's a big, it's a risk. You know, it's not like just a piece of paper that's going to go behind a frame that you're like, shoot, I messed this one up, like, let me start again. That's a fairly... Uh, intensive thing. So I was just really, I was really pleased that the mounting of the paper worked and that the paintings were successful to me. Um, so yeah, so no, I appreciate that because it's, it's not easy and yeah. Oh, Felicia. Well, I bought that piece. You did? So it's going to be really exciting to hear everybody else loving it and um, I'm like, <laughs> So thank you for making that piece that everybody loves that. You're welcome. Thank you for um, convincing me to put it in the show when I had right down in the middle of it and was like, ah, and I was like, yes. Well, my question, I'll tell you what my question is, but don't answer because I don't want to make a comment. Okay. But my question was, since I have seen you do other work with a lot of on paper and not framed it, and I was going to ask you why you framed these, but don't answer that, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but I, some of that work, um, some of the work to me looks like x-rays of like, in other words, it's not real dense with material, the material body, it looks almost like looking through thin skin or x-ray or something like that. And so to me, I was just sitting here noticing that you know, when you do something on paper and you don't frame it, if somebody does something on paper and it's not framed, I feel like closer to it. And like if, like, if this is not framed, it's not that I want to touch it. But I feel yes. more, I feel, no, 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 no. but uh, since it's like an extra, like bodily things, not all of them, but some of them, I feel more connected. And now it's behind glass, I'm like, but, you know, touch yeah. me, don't touch me. Yeah. Um, it's me, it's not me, it's, it's an x-ray, it's body, it's, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so well, that was my question about the frame. That's very fitting for the show. The show is very bodily. Um, but yeah, see, and I like that, and I feel like people who have seen my work for a long time know that the framing of the presentation is 
so deeply part of the work. Like I never arbitrarily frame something. I never arbitrarily do an art panel. Like every single thing has a reason to it. Um, and uh, yeah. So did you do you want do you want me to tell you? Oh, if you want to. Uh, it was it was more it was a question, but then it turned more into a comment. So it's yeah. up to you. Well, no, no, your comment. I, I absolutely love it, and I agree. I agree, and especially. Um, this is my first time using um, hot press watercolor paper. I've done watercolor for a long time and different things on watercolor paper. And I've always used cold press and I've always been like, oh, hot press is so annoying. Like, watercolor paper is not forgiving to begin with. And then if you use hot press, which is very, very smooth, you really, there's, there's nothing you can do if something happens that you don't really like. Um, but I was playing around with it at the beginning of this show, and I was like, wow, wow this actually does a, a lot of things that I really, really like. Um, and so almost the whole show is hot press. Only just a few of these are. A couple are cold and a couple are rough. Um, but because I like that too. I like to be able to see, you know, I look at art like this. And, um, but I frame these just because I wanted to. I wanted to. Um, they felt like they should have a little more to do about them. Um, they felt like they deserved to be presented in this way. Um, and I really like how it came out. They feel like they're supposed to feel. Um, even though I, I love panel and I love just paper that you can interact with. Um, yeah, I just felt like these specific ones needed to be. Used. Was there any intention with the bodily image? Um, yeah, um, I don't know. Have you read my statement? Oh, uh, I'm sure I did, but I don't have a very good number. Yeah, uh, what's funny is that it's an abstract show. It started abstract. It continued abstract. It was always abstract, but um, different things kind of popped out to me once I finished or once I was working on something. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, um, like in this one specifically uh, with the lines. This is called "I Still Find Pieces of Your Presence Here," and it wasn't until I I painted that one just with my hands, dipped in paint, um, and all the panels are. Uh, and what I really liked was when I was working on it and trying to figure out if it was done. I'm going to talk about the one with the two feet strikes. I don't know if I said that. Um, I put it on my easel and I kind of walked away. And then I did one of these. And I was like, oh my god. Um, I'm get real free range right here, y'all. Uh, and I saw kind of this like woman's outline if you can kind of see that in the blue here. And I was just like, wow, that created itself because it knew that it was supposed to be there. Um, I didn't do that on purpose, but I was just like, ooh, goosebumps. Like it just knew that it was supposed to look like that. And it absolutely was. And so there were so many of those moments um, that were created just without, not, not accidentally, but just, it wasn't my conscious mind that was like, okay, time to paint, down in the studio, now I do this and I do that. Um, I had the idea of what each piece would be as I was working on it, and then, you know, um, just kind of saw what was happening and what needed more of this and um, how the composition needed to be addressed. But there were a lot of those moments, and it really was, I don't know what to say about it. It was like, I needed that at that time. Like this whole show, um, like you put it really well, like it's a journal. It's, it's a journal without words um, of just what my experience has been in life uh, in the last several months. And um, um, yeah, so it really, yeah, it's very personal and uh, every piece kind of tells the story of what was happening like right at that moment.